The Equal Rights Amendment is short and to the point. The proposed constitutional amendment passed overwhelmingly by the Senate and the House holds that, quote, equality, equality of, of rights, rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of sex. That doesn't sound particularly subversive. That's it. It's one sentence. And what's wrong with that? Nothing. In 1923, suffragist Alice Paul introduced the ERA to Congress. That's right. Nearly one hundred years ago. But in 1972, it finally got approved by, by Congress. But in order to become law, three-fourths of the 50 states must ratify constitutional amendments by their state legislatures. Well, at first, it was going really smoothly. It was just clicking along. It was ratified one state, then another, and another. We got up to 35 in the 1980s. It just kind of stalled out because of a very vocal group that maintained that equal rights, if women had them, it would destroy the family. Yeah, it would. Uh, that men and women would be forced to use the same bathrooms. That women would be forced to serve in the military. Oh my gosh. And that women would get abortions and gays would get married. Yeah, folks, that ship has sailed. <laughs> and that has nothing to do with the Equal Rights Amendment. So as I said, the ERA stalled out in the 1980s, just three states short of the 38 states needed to get this into our U.S. Constitution. But now, nearly four decades later, it is making a comeback. Nevada ratified the ERA in 2017. The state of Illinois ratified it in 2018, making the ERA just one, one state away from needed ratification. Any thoughts on what that state might be? <laughs> we do this, this goes down in the history books. Arizona goes down in the history books. Exactly. She's right about that. Arizona could go down in the history books. And let's be honest here, that just doesn't happen much. This was my grandmother's fight. I don't want my daughter to have to keep fighting this fight for equal rights. It's time. So why is it a pass? 96 years on. We are literally one vote away from getting equal rights under the Constitution. And let's give Alice Paul's ghost a rest. It will be reintroduced in the state legislature. Representative uh, Pamela Powers Hanley and State Senator Victoria Steele are planning to reintroduce it in January. Um, we are going to be pushing very hard internally for the ratification and to bring it to a committee and to bring it to the floor for a vote. What we, what we need is your help on the outside. We need you to call your state senators. We need you to call your state representatives. We need you to call the Senate president. We need you to call the Speaker of the House. That's our state legislature, not in Washington, D.C., but here in Phoenix, Arizona. And we need you to ask them to please give the Equal Rights Amendment a committee hearing. Please bring it to the floor for a vote. It's time, it's time, it's time that women have equal rights under the law and that women are represented in the Constitution, it's time.